The ayes have it. The motion is adopted. And Charlotte, North Carolina will be the site of the 2020 Republican National Convention. After months of speculation, controversy, and preliminary votes, it is now official. Charlotte will host the 2020 Republican National Convention. The final vote came in Austin, Texas, just this afternoon during the Republican National Committee summer meeting. So now leaders here have to get to work and get ready for tens of thousands of visitors and all the media. We have team coverage from uptown to Austin tonight, starting with reporter Joe Bruno, who's in Austin for the vote. The convention is coming to Charlotte, but now the real work begins, starting with the host committee raising $70 million. Host Committee CEO John Lasseter and GOP Chairwoman Ronna McDaniel signed the paperwork to make it official. The 2020 Republican National Convention will be held in Charlotte. But before President Donald Trump and Republicans get anywhere close to town, Lasseter and his committee will have to raise some big cash. It's work, and we've got to make sure we go where, where the money is. Lasseter says his group has commitments already for 10% of its $70 million goal. The money is important, but in the back of most people's minds is security. President Donald Trump and his policies have attracted protesters in the past, and there is no reason to think 2020's convention will be different. Councilman Ed Drake says the city knew what it was getting into before placing a bid. He felt that the benefits of the city outweighed the risks. There are more than 700 days until the 2020 convention. Mayor Pro Tem Julie Eiselt says that gives the city the advantage over the protesters because the next two years, the police force and council will be focused on keeping Charlotte safe. There will be protesters. That's, That's democracy. And so we've got two years to plan that. Charles City Council gets back to its regular business on Monday, but make no mistake, this issue will dominate over the next two years, including how the city moves forward with security. Reporting in Austin, Texas, I'm Joe Bruno, Channel 9 of Witness News. Now, Joe, thank you. We still don't know exactly when the RNC will be. The committee is considering three different weeks in July and August. They have to consider the dates for the DNC, and they do not want to conflict with the Olympics. A final decision, though, has to be made by September the 15th. When Charlotte hosted the DNC in 2012, an estimated 35,000 people came to town. Charlotte's success in that big spotlight is one thing that helped us get the RNC. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Becker is live for us uptown. And Mark, certainly a lot has changed since 2012. Yeah, Erica, starting with the skyline right behind me back here, many of those buildings you're looking at, high-rise apartment buildings holding now 10,000 more people who live uptown than just six years ago. And there are a lot more places to eat and drink here as well. We're doing a wonderful quail right now, crispy. Rachel Coel raves about the farm-to-table menu at Haymaker, a shiny new restaurant that just opened in April right in the heart of what will be Convention City two years from now. We're wanting people to come from all around, out of town, to check out our restaurant. Haymaker's one of about 100 new bars and restaurants that have opened in Uptown and South End since the Democrats met here in 2012. The number of hotel rooms will have jumped even more dramatically, from 4,400 to 7,300. This has been our most prolific decade that we've had, period. Michael Smith is president of Center City Partners. He was here for the Democratic Convention when Uptown dressed up and then locked down with security and says they'll be ready for round two. I was here. Like, we, we know how this will go. We know the demands that Secret Service will have. Joanna Securitas was here, too. She runs Greens, where hot dogs have been on the menu since Calvin Coolidge was president. She ran the security gauntlet in 2012 and we'll have to do it again. Just uh, inconvenience is basically, you know, having to come down here an hour earlier to try to get through before the roadblocks and everything. But, you know, we'll live with that. And that's the spirit we find among a, mon a number of people. Not all of these, of course, are high-rise apartments. A lot of them office buildings. We're also told about 20,000 more people working in Uptown Charlotte than just six years ago. So a very different landscape here. Reporting live Uptown, Mark Becker, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Now, back in 2012, one of the only complaints from visitors was about the quality of the hotel rooms. Hundreds of people had to stay at what they called lower-rate hotels. They complained sometimes about bugs, trash, bars on the windows, and rooms that smelled like smoke. 
Once the DNC was over, Charlotte leaders made new hotels a priority to try to prepare for big events in the future, like the one we have coming now. You can see more of the numbers showing Charlotte's growth since 2012 by going to WSOCTV.com.